seriously because I I think you're a very talented driver, but and I think you've proven that, right? But you, Thanks. but the way this, the your personality, I always tell drivers too, you have to still be yourself, right? Because if you're yourself and you're also successful, like that, like doubles your brand value because now you're, you know, you're this electric personality. Uh, you know, IndyCar is putting out David Malukas hype videos, I think, every week, which is important, which is important, and all those things. So, like, has it been easy to be yourself? Because I think as young drivers, we're always kind of like told to you know read the books do the studies and don't do anything bad like and just you know be a machine but you've kind of i think done a good job at being a professional racing driver but also being yourself yeah well, well thank you it means a lot i um going into it i didn't really um i decided not to get a you know a, a pr agent of course i have jody who helps me but from the whole social media standpoint with when it comes to ideas and everything it was all kind of on myself and I was trying to think, I was like trying to find my, you know, personality in it. How do I, you know, go about it? How do I um, go into it? And I tried many different things at the start of the season and I just didn't like anything I was doing. And it just felt like it was like almost like work. Like I was just like forcing yeah. myself. Um, and like you said, it's like being a machine, it's being a robot. And I myself just wasn't enjoying the content I was putting out. And so then I just said, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to be myself. I'm just going to you know, nobody else is doing it, but I don't see no harm in it. And I'm just going to, you know, start posting a few memes here and there. <laughs> and then uh, people started to, you know, kind of catch on. It was mainly on Twitter or X now that it's called, um, <laughs> kind of started to catch on. And it was, I went from having like a few hundred followers on Twitter to having a few thousand within, I mean, only a few months. It was crazy. And I, I kind of, and to me, it felt really good because that's when I fully kind of opened up to myself and how I enjoy it. I love going on social media. Yeah. I love interacting with the fans, the people we, you know, exchange memes. It's like, it's almost like I found my own little community and it's, uh, and to me, what makes it feel like really good is I'll see people on Twitter. They'll, they'll comment and be like, I have no idea what IndyCar is, but this guy is making me want to watch are fire. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These memes are awesome. And he's making me want to watch IndyCar. And to me, that makes me feel awesome. Cause it's like, wow, I'm actually, you know, bringing in a lot of new fans, especially from overseas into watching IndyCar. Are you doing these memes yourself? Like, are you actually legitimately like creating this stuff? Cause I, I actually, this is one thing that I wanted to ask you. I was like, surely he's got some editor sitting in a dark room that like makes all this stuff for you. Are you legit? Like, just hammering it out right there on the computer. Yeah. So I spend, cause this is, I grew up, you know, on computers, right? Yeah, I mean, you're a youth. Dis, dis, you're a youth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Discord. I mean, that was just, that was my childhood, man. Like I was just a part of it. Um, so memes were like my life and going into it. It's like, I do make a, a few of them here or there. Um, anytime I put myself in, but it's more just looking at the community. I mean, Reddit discord is like, I literally spend like, like what almost like a few hours just going through it and finding <laughs> memes and collecting. I mean, my folder now is like 800 photos. Oh, worth of man. Um, but I also found... <laughs> I can't go recently. to Reddit. I feel like I would die if I went to Reddit. So I, I, I Reddit, have to avoid that place. <laughs> it's very dangerous. It's very... <laughs> it's People don't really have filters on Reddit. It's no. Like a, especially on the IndyCar Reddit. It's like... People don't like me there, I've heard. I am very un unliked on the IndyCar Reddit channel. Oh, boy, channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no comment. But yeah. <laughs> if, if you say any anything, like like if you do anything bad on track or say something, I mean, IndyCar Reddit will make sure that you know. Um, but it was like, especially in my rookie season, you know, I, I was on it and I saw all of it. But like I was one of those people too. So it's like I kind of understood it. It didn't really affect yeah. me. And I actually connected with the IndyCar Discord and you know where all the fans are at and i just joined and i kind of went incognito to pretend like i just wasn't yeah just i was just some random person that i saw like they were talking in one of the channels and i joined in and started talking and it took about it's about five or ten minutes one of the guys was like are you are you david no <laughs> was, way that's all yeah. that's incredible good for you yeah. <laughs> but no, I, mean, I so it is we but, control though like we we can easily like I think people, some of our fans don't actually realize how much and how easy we can just like go and see all this stuff too. And like, I read everything and it's bad. It's a bad idea for me, but like we have the ability to do that. And I think sometimes they think, oh, there's no way they're seeing that. But like, shoot, we got time at home. I'm going to get on. I'm going to go surf whatever's going on here. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're in best, the same boat. 
No, hundred percent. And the best thing to do when, when you see that stuff is I always reply to it. I immediately reply to it oh, yeah. and it catches the person off guard because they have no idea that you're going to see it. And as soon as you see it and you reply to it, they feel bad. And yes. every time I respond I to a hate comment, every time it gets deleted. So I just have replies on Twitter to just deleted <laughs> comments. It's, <laughs> it's just, you know, because realistically, if you were to see that that person in real life, in, in they the would face, never you, say it to you. Never, never say that. Yeah. No. So it's just when you when you put that situation, it kind of makes them feel like they're in that face to face situation and then they feel bad and then they yeah. take it away. But you know, what's uh, funny about that is that, that I, I thought about this a lot lately because I think our community, like the IndyCar fans, like how supportive are I like? Have you been surprised at how just incredible the community is and how much how supportive it is? Because, again, there are all these random comments. You know, I probably get a lot more than you. But there are a lot of comments that are awful on the Internet. But I've never once had someone at an IndyCar race come up to me and say, hey, you suck and you shouldn't be here. And but, but everyone at the IndyCar races are like great people. You know what I mean? I, I Have you enjoyed interacting with all the you know, this is only you know year two for you. Right. So this is this has got to be a new budding experience. Racing season is well underway and it's time to go full throttle. Feel the excitement of every lap like never before with DraftKings Sportsbook. Right now, new customers can bet just $5 and get $150 in bonus bets instantly, no matter what goes down on the track. Be sure to tune in to Dirty Mode Doe to keep up with all the betting matchups through the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs starting in Darlington. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now with code SPEEDSTREET. New customers can bet $5 and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's code SPEEDSTREET, only on DraftKings Sportsbook. Yeah, so Mid-Ohio was actually a highlight for me this year. I actually went out in, in, into the motorhome lots and was just hanging out with fans. Honestly, I created so <laughs> many so many new friends, best friends. I was playing... Um, so many different games what it's like my brain has just farted there's what, what is the game i'm thinking of with the, the bean bags i forgot oh uh yeah uh cornhole cornhole there you yeah, go yeah, <laughs> yeah you almost you, you started up a little bit yeah cornhole. but yeah <laughs> cornhole so i was playing cornhole and just hanging out and honestly it was it was amazing the fans at, uh, for indycar are incredible and i think it just also adds to the perspective that they can always just get really close with us you know and you, you can interact and honestly it just feels amazing i love going to the track now it's like i have my own community my own fan base and absolutely every single fan to me is like a friend you know i just i love being with them and hanging out and yeah just have a good time that's awesome well as as you continue to get more famous and more uh you know more more memey uh you know you sometimes you might not have time to interact with everyone so enjoy it while it lasts i i think that's i think that's honestly great for you to do that and I think it's great. It's a great part of our sport.